This is my intro, and it is real lit, and I had to do this voiceover so I wouldn't get copyrighted. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nakia J, and you are tuned in to Key Physique TV. And listen, I know you guys are expecting my life update, life after college update, but I'm gonna give y'all some more time to ask me some more questions. So head over to my Instagram right now, at Nakia AJ underscore, and go ask me some questions of what y'all wanna know. What y'all, I mean, get real juicy. Get, get real, real juicy, okay? As you guys can see, I am going to style my knotless box braids into however many different styles we can think of. So let's get into it. All right, so first thing I wanted to show you guys is how long the braids are. It's how long they are from the back, if you guys can see. They are just about under my butt. And they are small, so it is a lot of them. First style we have is your typical side part. Mine is to the right, right now. The way that the braids are braided. So you know, you can tuck it behind your ear, put a little pin back there, bring this side to the front, giving you real, you know, just long and luscious braids. Then we can give ourselves a little middle part. And just flip those braids over to the middle. Then boom, I'm done with the middle part. Middle part, middle part. Then we can do a left side part. So let's see, I'm gonna do about, I hardly ever do left, y'all, just because my dimple is deeper on my right. Okay, yeah, there we go, all right. And then now we have us a part on the left side. So that's literally three ways right there of how you can style your braids. So my favorite. High bun, so I'm using this long, stretchy, scrunchy, I don't even know where I got it from. I just, this is like one of the things that you just find around your house and you just start using. So yeah, that's what I got. So what I usually do is I throw all of my hair over. So like I said, I take my long band. I like to double it up, double it up like this. Throw all of my hair over. Throw it all over. Gather it in one big handful, like so. And this way you be struggling. So that's all you be needing help, sis. If you got somebody else in the house with you, just ask them to help. But if you don't, you on your own. I try to pull it, and then I take one side of it, bring it up. Uh oh, it's a little crooked, y'all. It's a little crooked. We gonna fix that. So then I take the rest. You wanna mess up? Ooh, I messed up, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. You can do this two ways. If you have a lot of braids like this, you might want to split it up into two sections. If you don't have that many braids, you can probably do it all in one go. And like I said, it's a little lopsided right now. As a matter of fact, this is a style right here. Giving you high pony, Shanene from Martin. That's what I'm getting. That's what you're giving me. Take our bun, and I'm gonna try to even it out because y'all, it's, okay, there we go. Okay, so I like to take my hair open it up and let it kind of like umbrella around my face. And then I split it in half. And then I take one side, twist it, twist it, twist it. Let the other side hang. One side, twist it, twist it, twist it. All the way under, side that's hanging. Keep twisting and then I'll tuck when I get, I try not to have no straggly, tuck that part. So boom, we got half a bun, we got half pony. So then I take the rest of it, start twisting this. Twist, twist, twist. Try to make sure you don't have any pieces that Try to stay behind. Now, this is one thing I don't like. When I get to this point, I personally don't like my bun to have pieces sticking out. So I try to tuck as much as I can. So that way, one, it looks even, and two, it looks, it's lopsided, y'all, isn't it? Okay, I'm just making sure it's not this neat. It's definitely lopsided. I know y'all gonna be talking about my edges in the comments, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do it for y'all. So make sure you get you a little toothbrush. I love how this stuff smells. Oh, it smells so good. And I just thought up here, and I can't really see right now what I'm doing, so. If my edges look a mess, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just doing a little slick back for y'all, just for y'all. Just for the fam. Listen, y'all, I'm not a hairstylist, okay? I'm not, I'm not a hairstylist, so. So all my people out there that actually do hair and do edges and all that stuff, talk about me, I don't care, I don't do hair. Look at this, I look like I got a, a ring light on my forehead, a ring light of edges. This is supposed to be tucked. Tucked, tucked. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm telling y'all, by the end of this video, these edges gonna be gone, so I don't even care. I don't, I don't even care. So we got pancake, hamburger, saucer, bun. Sometimes also what I do is I might put like another rubber band on it so that way it'll stay. So that is another hairstyle, our next hairstyle. Like I said, we have high pony. Another thing I like to do with my high ponies is I like to take some of the braids around the edges. So like two or three braids around the edges. And then what I'll do is I'll take one side, go around the band, go around the band, and then come to the front and cover it. I probably could be a four, because I think I only got three. And then I come around the front and cover it up like so. 
That way, if you have like a crazy looking hair tie like I do, boom, now you can't even see it. <laughs> you can't even see it, sis! Oh my God, I love high ponies. High ponies are one of my favorites. Giving me real Shanae Nae vibes. All right, so we did the high pony. We did the high bun. So next, we did the high. Now let's go to the middle. So same technique, throw it all over. If you got small hands, I don't really know what to tell you because you got to have some grippers on you to get all these braids in one hand. Now we're going to do the middle. So instead of wrapping it up at the top, this time we're going to do like middle. Wrap it up like middle. Then I'm going to wrap it the second time so that way we know it's secure. So same thing. You can see the band. So like I said, grab yourself from the back or even the top and just wrap it around. Wrap it around like so. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So now we got middle pony. If you're on it, let's do it. So now that we got mid pony, I'm gonna do the same thing. Take half, we're gonna break, well, not break, we're gonna twist half around, then take the other side, twist that around. Only thing about um, middle buns is. One, the hair may do that, so be careful with your tucking. And I can see right now that this, the weight, a lot of the weight of the bun is on this side instead of this side. So it looks like, so I'm looking at it like this, I know it probably looks crooked to y'all. But from the back, this is middle bun. Next, we did high, we did middle. Now it's time to go low. All right, so same technique. This time, instead of throwing my hair over, I'm just going to pull everything back. I'm going to get my little middle part back. Pull everything back. Take your two, double it up, like I said. Pull all of the hair through as much as you can. Pull through, pull through, pull through. Then wrap it around the second time. Make sure it's nice and secure. Low pony. I like to wear my hair like this when I'm working out. Maybe, um, you know, just doing something with a lot of movement. Dance and dance, practice or something. Just cause, or either mid pony. So same thing. You can wrap a piece of hair around it if you don't want your band showing and that is the low pony now we're gonna do a low bun so once again split it in half take one half twist 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 wrap it around wrap 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 and then tuck wrap and tuck that's all you're doing wrap and tuck then take the other group twist 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 wrap 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 and twist twist and wrap wrap and twist twist and wrap i did the same thing with this one i can feel a lot of the weight on this side and then we have a low bun all right, so next style, we are going to do pigtails. Make sure you have two of these or... Two of like the big stretchy ones. I'm probably just gonna use the smaller ones. Um, I should be able to. How we do this, make sure you get in the middle. And I like to just take my hand and kind of draw it right down the middle of my head towards the back because the lady who did mine, she gave me a middle part. I know mine are not gonna be like completely, completely equal on each side, but it should be. All right, so take one side. I'm gonna do high first. So I take one side. I'm gonna bunch it up into however high I want it. However high I want it. What? Take my band. And all of these styles are so simple, y'all. Like, leave a comment below if any other styles you guys do with your um knotless box braids or twists. Cause I love to try new stuff. Okay, so here's one. I'll probably make this a little bit higher, but it's pretty decent. And then the other one, here's the trick now. The trick is trying to get them both the same height. That's a struggle within itself. I know y'all see my edges just curling right on back up. And don't be in the comments. Why did you use gel? You shouldn't have used gel. Well, glue, at this point, I need to use um, fabric glue to lay my edges down because they just, they, they, don't, they don't stay. I'm trying to tell y'all, they don't stay. They don't stay, they don't listen. They don't behave. They just do what they want to do. Also, try not to pop your band. Try, try your hardest not to pop your band. And I'm trying to get all of the little stragglings that didn't really make it through the loop. Let's get them. I like to call this a little classy schoolgirl look. So I know in the other video, y'all couldn't really see how long they are. So here is how long they are in the ponytail. Okay. And since we already have them high up in pigtails, we gotta do pigtail buns. So what I do is twist like I usually do, twist and wrap, honey. Giving you, um. The homegirl off of Star Wars. I don't even know her name, I don't watch it. But I just know. Princess, what's her name? Princess, Princess something. Princess something, child, whatever your name is. That's what I'm giving the people today. Once again, like, look at this. Look at this. Come on, now. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. They can fall already. But y'all get just these are my two little bun buns, high bun buns on the side. Also, another thing I do is when they start falling like this, I either pin them, like I'll pin the braids in, or I'll take a rubber band and put it over it. So that way they stay secure. Staying with the theme of pigtails, we're going to do the high bun. Same technique. Same technique. Same Back, pull it all back, pull it all back, wrap it around once. Make sure it's still behind your ear though. And then 
Twice without popping it. Always the key. Try not to pop them. Try not to pop your band, especially if you don't have that many bands. Try not to pop it. Okay? So here's our low pony on one side, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I unravel it, pull it off, tuck behind my ear. Tuck, 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 smooth it back. And make sure it's flat as well. Like, make sure the braids are flat when you pull it back into a pony. Now, y'all, this is that. Well, homegirl, that kid trying to slide on that. So I'm going to tuck her a little bit so that way when the ponytail is in it, it's not pulling even more on my hair. But she's more so tucked under. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. And here we are. Low pony. Low double pony, so not just one. But we got two little pigtails. Then you can throw them to the back as well. Like I said, it's not even. I'm sorry, but I can't. And then once again, we got low ponies. If you have a ponytail, just know you can always turn that ponytail into a bun. Wrap it and tuck it. Wrap it and tuck it. Hey, say wrap it and tuck it. Wrap it and tuck it. Say wrap it and tuck it. Wrap it and tuck it. So boom, our high bun has now turned into a low bun. Or our low pigtail has now turned into low buns. The same thing to the other side. Wrap, tuck, wrap, tuck. And make sure y'all actually take y'all time when doing these so that way you don't have to go back and unwrap it and have pieces fall and die. And, um, you have all of that adjusted and then boom. Now we got low ponies. We got some braids hanging out over here. But, yeah. One thing I do like about this style is like... I can like tuck my edges up under like that. So really, all you see is I pull. Braids over. All you see is the first little piece right here. And then our last couple of styles, I call it the half up, half down series. For this, we need... One band, of course, one small band, or you can even use a larger band. And what I like to do is kind of do sections. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. It is okay if it's not perfect. No one on this planet is perfect, so that don't mean your hair gotta be perfect either, okay? Okay, I will say this. Whatever you do to one side, on the side, make sure it's the same on the other side. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's better. So whatever part of your hair you do decide to grab, take that. We can do three things. We can do a high pony, we can do a low pony, or we can do a high or low bone. So I'm gonna start off with high pony actually. So same thing like we would do for the other high pony for all of your hair in front. Wrap it around, wrap it around twice if you can. But now we have us a high pony. We got some up, some down. Once again, a little shenane style. Then what we can do is take this hair that's up. Wrap, wrap, wrap. And since we only have, since we don't have that much hair, after I wrap one side, I just kind of grab the other side and bring it around with it and begin to tuck and wrap, tuck and wrap, tuck and wrap, tuck and wrap. Boom. We went from low pony, some down, some up, to now um, cup on, on the top of your head. <laughs> bun, y'all. So now we got high bun, and the rest of our hair is down. So another thing we can do is drop it. Drop it so, so that way the hair is not sitting up as high anymore. Drop it so, take this. Wrap it, wrap one time, then wrap another time, and boom. Now we got low pony. I don't like how this looks because it's giving me a little hump right here. I ain't really feeling that. But I will go back and try to lay, try to lay the braids down. So yes, y'all. That's all I have for y'all. I hope you guys enjoy all of these hairstyles. If you have any other hairstyles, leave them in the comment below. If you have any other ideas of how I can lay these edges down, leave it in the comments below. Remember to head over to my channel. Ask me some questions for next week, Life After College Update q and I will be answering every single question that you guys ask me. Every single question shall be answered. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notifications every week, every Friday when I drop these lovely videos. I know y'all feeling this new backdrop. Yes, it's wrinkled. I'm going to figure it out later. Um, I love you guys. I will see y'all next week.